Hi guys, I'm Payson and you're on Trauma to Fitness. Today I'm with neurologist Dr. Andrew Moravati. Hi Dr. Moravati. Hi. So I have a question for you. When should someone see a neurologist? What are signs, symptoms that they should possibly be aware of? Uh, so neurologic disorders can present in a variety of ways, but the most common symptoms that uh, we see patients in the office for is headaches, oh. numbness, weakness, uh, tremors, loss of balance. Uh, these are some of the major symptoms that brings a patients uh, to our office for us to evaluate a patient for. Excellent. And I found you because I woke up one morning and I could not use my right hand and I'm right-handed. Um, it was just like dangling floppy fish. And so I called my GP and they referred me to a neurologist. That's right. And uh, uh, as uh, we determined after I got a history and examination from you that uh, you had developed a wrist drop. Yes. And we determined that your wrist drop was from a peripheral nerve injury from uh, malpositioning. Yeah, from uh, sleeping uh, on my arm. <laughs> uh, yes, in a wrong in a wrong position. But uh, luckily, you have recovered uh, completely, and the nerve was not significantly injured. Mm -hmm. So, uh, been you know the our our what we call our history and examination determined um, what part of the nervous system was affected, um, and we didn't have to embark on very expensive studies uh, to determine the cause. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Yes. Right. Um, that was a very, I'm very, very thankful for that. Right. Um, someone that's having um, like other numbness, you mentioned tremors. So what, can you define tremors for me? So tremors are, can be what we call rhythmic movements of any limb generally affects the hands and huh. people who have tremors basically they can either have a tremor with activity such as when they're reaching to grab an object or they're holding an object in their hand so what we, that tremor so it's is like shaking a, it's a shaking of the arm exactly or shaking huh. of the hand so it can be either what we call an action tremor where the tremor is brought on uh, when you trying to do a certain task or activity with your hand mm -hmm. uh, or it can be a resting tremor and resting tremor can sometimes be a sign of Parkinson's disease um, but that's where, again where the expertise of a neurologist comes to play to determine if the tremor has Parkinsonian features versus a uh, tremor that doesn't. Okay. I just learned something new. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so me and another friend actually thought neurologist was mostly studies of the brain. Um, even though I still knew in the back of my head from the word neurologist that it is your nervous system. Right. And we have a lot of nerves running through our body. So most people, me included, usually think of muscle and skeletal system. Right. Not so much the nerves. But as I recently learned, nerves are very important for the function of our body. Um, is there a certain way people can help keep a healthier nervous system? The, the way to maintain our, our nervous system, especially our brain, um, uh, healthy are the same things that the population has to do in general to stay healthy. So the the recommendations that have been made by multiple um, uh, medical organizations in terms of uh, uh, leading a healthy lifestyle also applies to uh, maintaining a healthy brain and nervous system. Hmm. And uh, that includes um, adequate sleep, um, a very healthy diet. We believe a Mediterranean diet is uh, very helpful in, huh. in maintaining a, uh, a healthy brain. Um, adequate exercise or exercising regularly, mm -hmm. um, uh, hydration. Uh, <laughs> lots of water. <laughs> lots of water and uh, also uh, trying to remain as, uh, as mentally active as possible to, to maintain your, uh, your brain fitness, uh, so to speak. So like uh, these are things that we all have to do as uh, as individuals, as adults, as we get older, in, in order to remain healthy. But they they help our our overall health uh, and also our brain health. 
So what uh, what has been uh, emphasized by multiple medical organizations and uh, uh, and experts and by the evidence that we have is uh, leading a healthy lifestyle is actually a good way to maintain a healthy nervous system. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well. I appreciate you greatly. You're, you're a fantastic doctor. Thank you. And uh, anyone, if you're in LA and you might need a neurologist, I highly recommend Dr. Andrew Moravati. He's in Beverly Hills. And I just want to thank you again for uh, taking this time to not just talk to me, but the viewers out there. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. You too. My pleasure being here. <laughs> great. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.